hi thanks for stopping by this is Teresa from Sammy Dolls. in this little video series I want to show you all the basic sewing techniques you need to follow all of my patterns confidently and joyfully I simply like creating things and sewing so much and I hope to inspire you to get started with sewing or to get that sewing machine out back from the attic or out of the cupboard or wherever you're hiding it all the videos in this little series are going to be linked down below in the video description and now let's get started in this video we're going to have a look at all the different threads that are available out there and determine which ones might be best for your sewing project. So here's my huge huge <laughs> thread box which I probably should organize a little bit better. This is all my overlocking or serger thread. It's all 100% polyester as you can see. Polyester is the most common and most versatile thread out there. It, the color does not fade. It is a little bit elastic. So if you're sewing with elastic fabrics or with clothes, clothes that you put on and, and off and might have to stretch a little bit here and there, it's always good to use polyester th thread as it is slightly stretchy or elastic. And there are also cotton threads out there, which are also color fast and they are a little bit more delicate. They might break if you pull them too hard. So they are best used for quilting projects or for hand quilting or if you use fabrics that do not stretch. So here's one of my Gutermann threads that I mostly use for sewing dolls. As you can see, it's 100% polyester as well. I'm also going to make a video sharing which color number I'm using for which dull fabric. So here's a cheaper thread. It does not have a label and we will later see that this one is not a good thread and I probably should throw it out. <laughs> That's another Gutermann thread, a Mara thread. It's a very strong and very versatile thread. I mostly use those Gutermann Mara threads. They're really my favorite sewing threads to use and I'm going to link the website that I mostly use to purchase them down below under this video as well and here you can see if it zooms in and goes sharp so you can see it's number 100 it's a thousand meters or a thousand ninety four yards long and the color number is 800 so that's a white that I mostly use here are the different threads and if you want to test if it's a good quality thread or not just wrap it around your fingers and pull it slightly and if the thread breaks really easily you know it's a cheap thread if it if it cuts into your skin you know it's a good thread but if it cuts into your skin too much it might be too thick and might be hurting your sewing machine if you use the wrong sewing needle so here's one of my regular sewing threads it's from the company Birch which is a good company and as you can see it cuts into my skin here and it's not breaking yet and as I'm pulling a little bit it should break as you'd expect I'm trying to focus the camera I think yep and then it finally breaks it cuts into my fingers and that's a good quality thread next I'm testing this thread which is from a no brand I don't know where I got it from it didn't even cut into my skin it just broke so this is not a good quality thread as you can see it breaks really easily I don't know where it came from I know I did not buy it and I will never use it it's going straight in the bin because if you use it for a project it might not last very long so here's one of my favorite sewing threads and cuts into my skin and it also breaks as you'd expect but as you can see it's a bit harder I had to wind it around my fingers twice before I could break it and that's a good indication to know whether you have a good thread or not such a good quality thread on hand. And let's have a look at this one again. Wow. Noops. <laughs> but this is actually quite fun. Oi. <laughs> okay, this takes a little bit more strength to break. And you can get threads in all kinds of different materials and all kinds of different weights as well. The most common ones that you might come across when you are using your sewing projects are the cotton, the polyester, the embroidery and the invisible threads. I mostly use polyester thread because it is very versatile as mentioned before. The cotton threads are best for light to medium weight fabrics or delicately woven fabrics with little or no stretch. So if you have a really light fabric that is not stretchy at all, this would be a wonderful thread to use. Cotton th thread does not uh, melt when you iron it. 
The polyester threads might melt if you iron them for too long, but I hope you never put your iron on your polyester thread for hours on end. <laughs> so the all cotton thread has no give, so the stitches may break if used on a, strategic, on a stretchy fabric like knit. And it's mostly used for quilting and hand quilting. The polyester thread is a polyester or all-purpose thread. It can also come in a polyester and cotton blend, blend and it's appropriate for most fabrics, woven and stretch fabrics alike, as polyester has some give and it does not shrink when being washed and it also does not fade in color. So this is the thread that I always use everywhere, basically, for any project. If you want to do machine embroidery, then you need a special embroidery thread it's a little bit thinner than the regular sewing thread and it's mostly made from rayon or polyester and it's finer um, than cotton and all-purpose threads and it's made mainly used for embroidery projects. It also works for buttonholes and decorative stitching. The buttonholes you can just make it a little bit finer and it looks lovely and it's not recommended for regular seams, for regular piecing seams because it is just too fine and would not hold up. And then we have the invisible thread, it's also called, called clear thread or monofilament and it's mainly made from nylon or polyester and it comes in both clear and smoke colors or tints and it camouflages beginning quilting stitches and creates texture when you're quilting. So you don't, if you don't want to see a thread and just want to see the texture or just want the to highlight the fabrics and the beautiful combinations of your fabrics and patterns and everything then the invisible thread is a good thread to use i hardly ever use it i think i used it once and i have one somewhere in a box that i don't even know right now but the main thread that you're gonna need and come across is the polyester one another thing to consider is the thread weight as you can see here the higher the number the finer the thread so the number 50 thread would be good for quilting, number 40 is good for piecing and for sewing clothes etc for all the purposes that we have here on the semi dolls channel and with the semi patterns and the lower the number the thicker the threads so the 28 or 12 would be good for upholstery or for top stitching or for jeans fabrics and canvas and all these thicker fabrics and now I quickly wanted to share which threads I recommend, which threads I already use. And here is the Razant one. I'm going to link all the I'm going to put all these links down below in the video description so you don't have to write down what's going on here. And it comes in all kinds of different colors. It's a really good elastic um, durable thread which is which you can use for all your sewing projects. Then we have the Metal brand you can have a look at all the different ones here. So you have silk finish and the quilting one, embroidery threads, metallic thread, uh, for all kinds of different projects. And then if you go to Joann's, which might be really handy for, for the people who live in the US, for all my viewers in the US. And I hear that the um, Coates and Clark brand is really good as well. I never used it, but I hear a lot of seamstresses recommend it. So you can use the Coates and Clark one on this website. They also have the Gutermann thread, which is my favorite thread. So you can see it here, it comes in the colors of the doll skin. And I'm going to link this website down below as well. The, the website that I personally used mainly so far, it's wawak.com. W-A-W-A-K. W-A-W-A-K. And they have all kinds of amazing deals and really really high quality threads as well and I might mainly get my Gutemann Mara here from this website here is the polyester thread and here is the all-purpose thread if the fabric loads yes the all-purpose thread and you can see all the different colors here it comes in so many different colors and here's one that I use for my doll skin. This is another one. And number 300 is for the sun skin. Sun kissed 4029. I believe I used that one as well. The 414 for the 
slightly pink skin so all kinds of different colors here it's amazing the variety i highly highly recommend this website if you can order from there they also ship internationally now i believe i had some of my colleagues sent me some so far which was really really nice um colleagues from the us and now i think i might be able to order online as well or with one of my mail forwarding services so I highly recommend these websites please check them out i'm not sponsored unfortunately i wish i was <laughs> um and yes you can find the links down below in the video description in the next video we're going to have a very detailed look at the fabric the thread and the needle that you're going to put together to create the perfect project Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.